All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use Chat GPT to be able to do some data analysis, right? So I'm going to go back to the Diamond data set, which is here, and I'm going to copy this from, let's copy from here, right? And then we want to use Chat GPT to analyze this data set, right? So I'm going to go back again. The asset, so can you analyze the data sets given below then i'm going to paste the data sets here so it is automatically identified that this data set is about diamonds right which is actually true so it will give us all the columns that are inside the data sets very very true so you don't need to use pandas <laughs> you can use chat gpt <laughs> okay right so it's giving you a very simple overview of the data that you have which is very scary well perfect now later on let's ask it can you convert the data set to can oh so so can you convert the data into a table form let's see so it's going to convert the entire data set <laughs> into a data table or into a table format which is very cool whoa <laughs> so it's picking the same data and it's this is so uh, it's difficult to understand how it is doing it behind the scene how is it able to pick the right data and put it inside the right column this is interesting after it's finished, I'm going to check the source code behind it if if it is actually in table. But it's very interesting. Because as a matter of fact, it's not just picking these things here, right, and giving it the result. It's actually creating the HTML right behind the scene for this particular table. That is the magic of it's like magic that is the, the, yeah it's like magic so this is actually a table html it's going to design the entire stuff oh that is very impressive so let's check it out as i said inspect it and these are these are all tables right you can tell that this is keep care these are actually the tables that that's actually created all of these tables there for us wow that is very impressive that is super impressive. How is it able to do those things there? Wow. So I'm checking the code behind it. So this is where everything is. Wow, that is very impressive. Okay. Now we have gotten it. I want to do some simple analysis. I want to get all the the class distribution for the cut column, right? So let's see. Can you or well, let's say, give me the value count of the data set using the cut column. So let's see. So we are going down. So it's generating it. So this is a frequency table for the cut column. Whoa, that is very, very interesting. So this is using the value count. This, this is not what I was expecting, but it's very impre impre impressive, right? For the cut column, it was able to give us the pivot table as well as the frequency distribution, right? Which is very cool. You can also say, can you do the same thing in Python? So, or can you give me the class distribution? Of the data using the we want to use it uh, using the cut column via pandas so let's see whether it's going to use pandas so it's using pandas now I want to get actual code using pandas it's going to give me the data set 
So to read the data set, pick the right end. So this is actually going to work. It's also going to print out the result for us, which is very, very cool. <laughs> that is impressive. So if I go back and I check it out here, they're very good. If I go and I check it from the one that we had at the top here, maybe my mouse is not moving. Yeah. It's able to do some very cool stuff here. So if I go back here, so it's almost the same as we had, right? The same thing here, the same thing that ChatGPT has done for us. Now, you have gotten the class distribution. I also want to do another one for, let's do another one for the price, right? So I want to get, yeah, we can do something else. Okay, for the distribution for the color and then the price. So, so we can see. Me the value count for the price column, right? So let's see whether it's able to give us the same. So it's giving me the same thing for the price column. <laughs> and this is going to give it a lot of problem because not all of them are correct. Or not they are correct, but there are a lot of figures that are changing. I can, I can only tell it to categorize the price into three. So it's doing the same thing with the pivot table. And this is out of the box, right? That is very, very intelligent. Wow, that is very impressive. So what I'm going to do is I want to group the prices into three. So you group the prices into three groups of yeah let's make it like of high medium yeah and low price range so let's see it's so going to group the price column into high medium and low price ranges Oh, so it's using pandas cut <laughs> and let's see whether it's going to work and give us some good <laughs> this is very cool so let's see what it's going to do so this is very very impressive right so you have to know what you want and it's going to generate it for you and be able to explain to well wow that is very impressive right so you have seen how to use ChatGPT to do some simple data analysis now let's build a model from it so can you encode the data set? Let's see whether it will be able to encode the data set. <laughs> They're converting the entire stuff into numerical. So one hot is telling me the different ways I can actually encode the data set. So we have one hot encoding. We have a label encoding. <laughs> That's very cool. And then it's going to give us the other one, binary encoding. Less, wow. So it's giving me a very nice way of trying to encode the data set using circuit lane, using pandas. So it's still able to remember. This is very cool. Within this chart, it's able to remember that we are talking about the diamond data set. It's going to generate the result for me, which is very cool. It's going to give us the result, right? Which is telling me how to do the encoding with one hot encoding using pandas to do label encoding using circuit lane. Wow, which is very, very cool. <laughs> it's making the work of people very easy. It at least gives you an idea of what to do and then you move on and work on it. So let's see how to build the model. So, so we are finished, so can you build a model to predict the cut column or can you build a model to predict yeah to predict using the cut column as the target class let's see whether to be able to build a model to predict the target class using the cut column as the stuff so it's going to put the data 
split the data into training and test sets. <laughs> it's like the same thing we will do every day using scikit-learn. And then it's going to choose a machine learning algorithm. And then it is going to train the model. So let it finish, right? I will want it to do it. Then after just finish doing everything, I will want it to interpret our model. So let's say build a model instead of so build a model. Let's see what it's going to build a model. See, it's able to still remember this conversation, what you are talking about, which is the cut. So it's going to give me the actual code. Exactly what I would have done. <laughs> Read it, process it, one whole encoding, because I asked for that question. Label encoding, transforming the entire stuff, <laughs> dropping the cut column, and then converting. Wow, that is very cool. So it's in fair as the one whole encoding. Going to build a model. Very, very cool. We're using logistic regression. So the output of the model can be so this is very interesting and that is cool. It cannot run it by itself, but when you run it, you have to get the result, which is very cool. So all of these steps make sense, right? Now let's see whether we can evaluate it. Can you evaluate the model? So let's evaluate the model and then we will interpret the model that's been built using Eli 5 and then Sharp. So we pick two models. No, we will pick two libraries to interpret our model. So it's giving me all the way in which we can. Wow. <laughs> so it's going again all over the steps. Build it. Okay, this is where it's filled. <laughs> Yeah, I think the result is tired. <laughs> okay, we know you are tired. So let's say, can you interpret the model with Eli 5 and then sharp? No, let's go with line. So, I want to see if we can interpret the model using Eli 5 and then sharp. Or line. Well, it's able to even identify that line means local interpretable model agnostic explanation. So it's giving us, let's see whether to bring the diamond data set. If it brings it, then wow, it is very, very smart to edit. So I think it will stop here because I don't know whether to have the compute to continue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So let's say explain it. With Eli 5. I think it gets tired after some time. So let's see. Wow. So it's giving me actually the steps to do that. So it's giving me an example. I hope it doesn't go up. Oh, it's going to go up again and do the same thing. <sighs> okay. Hopefully it doesn't stop. See, so it's having its limits, but it's very intuitive in order to be able to do all of these things. Hope it doesn't stop here. So perfect. Let's see whether to go beyond this. Yeah, it's yeah. So it's stopping here, right? But as you can see, it's still able to do some stuff, right? In the previous one I did, it was able to give me the code to interpret the model. Very cool. Right, so let's say use sharp to interpret. Now let's say use Eli 5 to interpret the logistic regression model built. So let's see. So it's giving me the same thing. So that is very cool. So our, our code is actually reasonable. It makes sense. And it's going to go through the same steps, right? That is a, a little bit interesting stuff here, but you can see that it's able to move on with our steps. So that is how to use ChatGPT to do some very, very interesting data analysis. You have seen how to use ChatGPT to fetch this data, right? You have gotten a data set. We have converted this data set into a table 
did some sample analysis on it, grouped them well. You have even able to sort them into the different price range and we're able to even build some model. You see that now it's even interpreting the model for us, right? <laughs> Which is very, very cool, right? Very, very cool. The origin interest now. <clears throat> this super, right? Yeah. So that is something very cool. So thank you for watching the tutorial. So see you in the next session. See you another time. Let me see what you can do with chat GPT. So this is just an assistant, right? You're not going to replace it. All of these things is possible because over the years there have been many open source data, open source work from different programmers, different data scientists all over the world, from GitHub, Stack Overflow, GitLab, different books. And that is why it's able to give us all of these things. Without the work of all of these things, this is not possible, right? So it needs data from, from all the works that people have done over the years. So thank you for watching. See you another time. Bye.